Sorry for taking so long. Finally, today's lessons and subsequent lessons will be about Tsuyoi Nage. Let's look at the basics of Tsuyoi Nage. First Tsuyoi Nage is the high Tsuyoi Nage. In the second half of the video, we'll explain how to do Tsuyoi Nage. Please view it left or right based on your gripping. When watching this video, the details are same right and left. Imagine your dotted stance. Deep Suain again. Next, let's look at a deep Suain. When I used to actively compete, I was a 73 kg player. My opponents were bigger than me. In Japan, team competition is open weight without a weight class. Competitions without weight class are more popular in Japan. This is how I perfected my deep Suei Nage. With my deep Suei Nage, I won multiple medals. Please view it left or right based on your gripping. Let's observe how to do Suyoi Nage when moving backwards. It is very difficult to throw like this in randori or competition. Doing this movement is very very important. In Japan we do this back step movement Nagekomi frequently. Let's flip it left and right. It teaches Kuzushi timing, feeling, and the opponent's weight shift. The key is to maintain your balance so you learn these teachings. How I do my surete is not to wrap my wrist. By wrapping your wrist, you hurt your elbow. I open up my palm like this. Use your wrist like this, not like this. When you wrap your wrist, the elbow does not come forward, but is jammed. Relax wrist like this enables your elbow to come forward. Relax your wrist and allow your elbow to come forward. This way prevents jamming your elbow prevents injuries to shoulders and elbow dislocation. Use the surite like this. Make sure to use a surite like this. Let's emphasize this important part again. When I was a child in Japan, we were taught Sioi Nage. I was told to wrap my wrist. This makes you and your opponent crammed extremely close together. By being crammed, it locks your surete hand, hurting your elbow, shoulders and wrist. I have seen many injuries in other judokas who wrap their wrist. If you look at my grip, I am hooking the gi at the tip of my fingers. Hook instead of wrap. Hooked and relax instead of wrapping it around your wrist. Do not place your elbows underneath the armpit. 
My way is to place it forward next to your opponent's elbow bend to protect your shoulders and your elbow. The wrist is relaxed enabling this. If I wrap the wrist, my elbows don't come forward. Key detail. Because the suerte is coming forwards, the hikite must be strong and pulling forward, otherwise the opponent will escape to the other side. To throw with a relaxed suerte, the hikite becomes very important and I will focus on this later on in this video. Your suerte in kenkaiutsu must be underneath your opponent's grip. If the opponent is blocking your shoulders like this, that is from turning, you cannot throw Sioi Nage. By using good body movement, the opponent's blocking hand is removed. Key information, so let's examine this closer. Push the opponent's chest with your suerte hand and pull the hikite. Even though Blue's right leg is forward, this movement makes the, his left shoulder come forward. His body movements creates kuzushi, making the opponent unbalanced. When this happens, Blue's blocking hand becomes very weak. By moving this way, Blue cannot block me anymore. By using my suerte in this way, it eliminates the opponent's own surate that is blocking me. Don't forget to use your footwork, not just hand movements to do this. This movement sets up an opportunity to attack. It creates an equilateral triangle. Now the preparation for Sioenage is complete. In this way, the elimination of blue surete is now complete. Look closely how I grip. To grip black me, firmly press the gi in the base of your thumb. Grip the hikite like this. Flex your wrist, this is how I use the hikite. In Ayutsu, if a opponent's rotate is high, you cannot turn your face. Shift your judoki by shrugging your shoulder and lowering the surete. Put pressure downwards on the hikite like this. As he reacts, take advantage of his reaction to raise the hikite. Let's check one more time. I cannot use Sue in this position. I shift the judoki to clear my path for Sue Nage. I then push down to get a reaction. This enables me to raise the hikite. Many people who are not good at Sioenage only lift their wrist slightly. What you should do is open your elbow high by turning your wrist. Use your back muscles, not just your shoulders. Shift your judogi by shrugging your shoulders to eliminate opponent's surete. Apply pressure downwards on the hikite. You should imagine opening a window and looking through. The window is only open when your elbow is high. Instead of using your hikite shallowly like this, use it like this by opening up your elbow high. That's all for now. Next time, I'll explain more practical Suyai Nagi tips for randori and competition. Please like, comment and subscribe.